Surah 14. Ibrahim. Context. Period of Revelation. It appears from the tone of this surah, that it belongs to a group of surahs which were revealed during the last stages of the Meccan period. For instance, verse 13, And those who disbelieved said to their messengers, We will surely drive you out of our land, or you must return to our religion. So, their Lord inspired to them, We will surely destroy the wrongdoers. Clearly indicates, that the persecution of the Muslims was most intense at the time of the revelation of this surah, and that the people of Mecca were bent on expelling the Muslims, just like the disbelievers of the former prophets. The central theme and purpose, this surah is an admonition and a warning, to the disbelievers who are rejecting the message of the prophet, and devising cunning schemes to defeat his mission. But warning, censure and reproach, dominate admonition. This is because a good deal of admonition had already been made in the preceding surahs. But in spite of this, their obduracy, enmity, antagonism, mischief, persecution, etc., had rather increased. Surah 14. Ibrahim. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Alif. Lam. Ra. This is a book which we have revealed to you O Muhammad, that you might bring mankind out of darknesses into the light, by permission of their Lord, to the path of the exalted and might, the praiseworthy, God, to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens, and whatever is on the earth. And woe! Destruction, to the disbelievers, from a severe punishment, the ones who prefer the worldly life, over the hereafter, and prevent people from the way of God, seeking to make it seem deviant. Those are in extreme error. And we did not send any messenger, except speaking in the language of his people, to state clearly for them, and God sends astray there by whom he wills, and guides whom he wills. And he is the exalted in might, the wise. And we certainly sent Moses, with our signs, saying, Bring out your people from darknesses into the light, and remind them of the days of God. Indeed in that, are signs for everyone patient, and grateful. And recall, O children of Israel, when Moses said to his people, Remember the favor of God upon you, when he saved you from the people of Pharaoh, who were afflicting you with the worst torment, and were slaughtering your newborn sons, and keeping your females alive. And in that, was a great trial from your Lord, and remember when your Lord proclaimed, If you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. But if you deny, indeed my punishment is severe. And Moses said, If you should disbelieve, you, and whoever is on the earth entirely, indeed God is free of need and praiseworthy. Has there not reached you the news of those before you, the people of Noah, and Ad, and Thamud? and those after them? No one knows them, their number, but God. Their messengers brought them clear proofs. But they returned their hands to their mouths, and said, Indeed we disbelieve in that, with which you have been sent, and indeed we are in doubt, about that to which you invite us, causing suspicion. Their messengers said, Can there be doubt about God, originator of the heavens and the earth? He invites you that he may forgive you of your sins, and he delays you, your death, for a specified term. They said, You are not but men, like us, who wish to prevent us, from what our fathers were worshipping. So bring us a clear authority, evidence. Their messenger said to them, We are only men, like you, but God confers favor, upon whom he wills of his servants. It has never been for us, to bring you evidence, except by permission of God. And upon God, let the believers rely. And why should we, not rely upon God, while He has guided us to our good ways? And we will surely be patient, against whatever harm you should cause us. And upon God, let those who would rely, indeed rely. And those who disbelieved, said to their messengers, We will surely drive you out, of our land, or you must return to our religion. So their Lord inspired to them, 
we will surely destroy the wrongdoers. And we will surely cause you to dwell in the land after them. That is for he, who fears my position, and fears my threat. And they requested decision, victory, from God. And disappointed therefore, was every obstinate tyrant. Before him is hell, and he will be given a drink of purulent water. He will gulp it, but will hardly be able to swallow it. And death will come to him from everywhere, but he is not to die. And before him is a massive punishment. The example of those who disbelieve in their Lord, is that their deeds are like ashes, which the wind blows forcefully. On a stormy day, they are unable to keep, from what they earn, a single thing. That is what is extreme error. Have you not seen, considered, that God created the heavens and the earth, in truth? If he wills, he can do away with you, and produce a new creation. And that is not difficult for God. And they will come out for judgment before God, all together. And the weak will say to those who are arrogant. Indeed we were your followers, so can you avail us anything, against the punishment of God? They will say, if God had guided us, we would have guided you. It is all the same for us, whether we show intolerance, or are patient, there is for us no place of escape. And Satan will say, when the matter has been concluded, Indeed God had promised you, the promise of truth. And I promised you, but I betrayed you. But I had no authority over you, except that I invited you, and you responded to me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. I cannot be called to your aid nor can you be called, to my aid, indeed, I deny your association of me, with God before. Indeed for the wrongdoers, is a painful punishment. And those who believed and did righteous deeds, will be admitted to gardens, beneath which rivers flow, abiding eternally therein, by permission of their Lord, and their greeting therein, will be, peace. Have you not considered how God presents an example, making a good word, like a good tree, whose root, is firmly fixed, and its branches high in the sky. It produces its fruit, all the time, by permission of its Lord. And God presents examples for the people, that perhaps they will be reminded. And the example of a bad word, is like a bad tree, uprooted from the surface of the earth, not having any stability. God keeps firm, those who believe, with the firm word in worldly life, and in the hereafter, and God sends astray the wrongdoers. And God does what He wills. Have you not considered those, who exchange the favor of God for disbelief, and settle their people, in the home of ruin? It is hell, which they will enter, to burn, and wretched is the settlement. And they have attributed to God, equals, to mislead people from His way. Say, enjoy yourselves for indeed your destination is the fire. O Muhammad, tell my servants who have believed, to establish prayer, and spend from what we have provided them, secretly and publicly, before a day comes, in which there will be no exchange, ransom, nor any friendships. It is God who created the heavens, and the earth, and sent down rain from the sky, and produced thereby some fruits, as provision for you and subjected for you the ships, to sail through the sea, by his command, and subjected for you, the rivers. And he subjected for you, the sun, and the moon, continuous in orbit, and subjected for you, the night, and the day. And he gave you, from all you asked of him, and if you should count the favor, blessings, of God, you could not, enumerate them. Indeed mankind, is generally most unjust, and ungrateful. And mention O Muhammad, when Abraham said, My Lord, make this city, Mecca, secure, and keep me and my sons, away from worshipping idols. My Lord, indeed they have led astray, many among the people. So whoever follows me, then he is of me. And whoever disobeys me, indeed you are, yet forgiving and merciful. Our Lord, I have settled some of my descendants, in an uncultivated valley, near your sacred house, our Lord, that they may establish prayer. So make hearts among the people, incline toward them, and provide for them from the fruits, 
that they might be grateful. Our Lord, indeed you know, what we conceal, and what we declare. And nothing is hidden from God, on the earth, or in the heaven. Praise to God, who has granted to me, in old age, Ishmael, and Isaac. Indeed my Lord is the hearer of supplication. My Lord, make me an establisher of prayer, and many from my descendants. Our Lord, and accept my supplication. Our Lord, forgive me, and my parents, and the believers, the day the account is established. And never think, that God is unaware of what the wrongdoers do. He only delays them, their account, for a day, when eyes will stare in horror. Racing ahead, their heads raised up, their glance does not come back to them, and their hearts, are void. And O Muhammad, warn the people of a day, when the punishment will come to them, and those who did wrong, will say, Our Lord, delay us for a short term. We will answer your call, and follow the messengers. But it will be said, had you not sworn before, that for you, there would be no cessation? And you lived among the dwellings, of those who wronged themselves. And it had become clear to you, how we dealt with them. And we presented for you, many examples. And they had planned their plan, but with God, is recorded their plan. Even if their plan, had been sufficient to do away with the mountains. So never think that God, will fail in his promise to his messengers. Indeed God is exalted in might, and owner of retribution. It will be on the day, the earth will be replaced by another earth. And the heavens as well, and they, all creatures, will come out. Before God, the one, the prevailing, and you will see the criminals. That day, bound together in shackles, their garments, of liquid pitch, and their faces covered by the fire so that God will recompense every soul, for what it earned. Indeed God is swift in account. This Quran, is a message for the people, that they may be warned thereby. And that they may know, that he is but one God, and that those of understanding, will be reminded.